Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video. In today's video, we're diving back into some PvP action with a team that I was very excited to use with the release of uh, Ivankov and Inizuma and the Grand Party buffs that did come for Quick and Cerebral. However, I did test them in Grand Party when they were super boosted, and they didn't really hit the mark for me. However, we did get some buffs to Shanks when you have like a Ben Beckman, Lucky Roo, a Yasop, or a Uta character on your team. Shanks got a nice buff to what he does with his special. But with the latest update of 13.1.0, both Robin and Sabo both received PvP buffs. So in today's video, we're taking the quick Cerebral team that looks a little bit like this into some of the PvP challenge modes and just having some fun with the team. Do I think this is the best team in the game? Definitely not. Do I even think it's close? No, definitely not at all. But it is interesting to see what quick Cerebral characters can now do and the synergy that they have actually taking down some of these higher end teams. Remember, the PvP challenge modes, whilst some of these aren't the most challenging, this is the Sasaki one, which is actually one of the harder ones. And this run was actually one of the worst runs that I actually had. Uh, I did it like three times off camera and then I sat down, sat down to record and I got really bad RNG. Like I just couldn't kill Kid. Because with Robin, Robin has this ability where she targets out driven characters now, which works so exceptionally well when you're coming up against strength because a lot of their good characters are actually driven, namely stuff like Kid. But let's take a look at what the new characters do. We're going to start off with Sabo. He is our middle man. He is our shield bearer, as I like to call him. And he is our defensive prowess. As you can see, like I said, we're going up against Sasaki now. This is a strength team and we do have type advantage, but the quick team, the quick cerebral team, sorry, doesn't exactly have the best synergy in terms of destroying strength you can chuck sugar on this team though because sugar is actually a cerebral character but the focus of this video was uh shanks ben uh Sh shanks robin and sabo and then i needed uta for shanks to work and then iniazuma being a pvp rare recruit and it all worked out pretty nicely the um the bench units like i didn't really know what to do with the bench of this team so i just chucked on corazon because he buffed everyone you could do something like cat viper i guess but hp cuts at the back end of a fight aren't exactly useful unless it's like 70 percent for what Corazon gives and then I just probably put DPS in terms of blue jam and the monsters because like they just work so damn well but as you can see like we didn't have too many issues against this particular fight we actually did take a shot from kid which was a little bit scary Kuma actually popped off on us as well I'm pretty sure and um the team still managed to get it done fairly nicely uh because of these new buffs that stuff like Robin can provide with the extra HP cutting with the defensive buff that Sabo now gives and the ability to avoid half stats that uh, Shanks now has is super, super valuable. So we'll um, touch on what they actually do uh, in the next com the next fight. As this one sort of wraps up, we take an, an, uh, an ulti special, which is pretty scary. But the upside to the quick cerebral team is that we have a lot of haste, we have a lot of CT reduction, and we have a lot of speed. Once you guys, are, as you guys will see here in the last 30 seconds, Uta is going to get her special off. Um, she's going to give CT charge to Shanks, and then she actually gives haste to Shanks. Which is absolutely perfect, because as long as she gives haste to literally either the monsters, Blue Jam, or Shanks, we basically have this fight won. Like I said, Sasaki, he's not the hardest challenge, but definitely not the e easiest. And this run was definitely not the best run that I had all day, and still managed to get it done. Alright, so on to the Orochi fight now. This one is a little bit older. Um, I wanted to showcase this because Robin has an ability where she can target driven characters. So I guess we'll start with what Robin's buffs actually were. Robin buffs quick and cerebral characters she buffs uh level 5 hp and attack to quick level 3 ct up to uh to quick and then level 5 attack debuff down to strength her special is now a 30 percent hp cut which increased from 20 percent which is absolutely massive she has an 80 percent chance to inflict paralysis to all enemies in a large radial range for 10 seconds she inflicts level 5 defense and attack down to all enemies in a large range and then targets one driven character for six times your attack and as you guys saw in the last fight hitting kid with that much attack is absolutely absurd she lowers the defense she lowers their attack and then she hits with this after hey hey hp cut so if you're going up against driven base teams or if you're coming up against stuff like um driven units that are scattered within particular teams she hits so damn hard as you guys will see here she just absolutely binks orochi with for like seventeen thousand damage see you later get out of here goodbye after doing a 30 percent hp cut so absolutely insane buff that they gave robin robin she's very very good at giving us uh, speed attack and ct which is awesome she gives us a little bit of bulk as well with um her hp buff which is nice and if you do come up against strength units 
or you chuck her on a strength team alongside something like uh, Sugar, you can do a lot of nerfing to strength too with their attack down reduction, with their speed reduction, and all of those extra, extra buffs or debuffs that you apply to the enemy. As you guys saw there, Shanks comes in with all of his damage now. Um, if you have an Uter on the team, Shanks just goes absolutely crazy. Uh, he has the ability to ignore half stats now. So if you are versing those int driven teams with this particular build, you're not going to have issues with stuff like Yamato's and uh, top music is and stuff like that. But like I said, as long as you have a Ben Beckman, Lucky Root, Uta, Yasup on the team, you give level 3 CT, uh, C, CT speed to your crew, as well as a level 6 HP speed and attack buff to cerebral characters. So as you can see, like scattering across all of these units of like quick and cerebral works exceptionally nicely. And the synergy between them all is just, it's just a lot of fun to use. So against Driven, Robin is just an absolute demon. She backs up a lot of characters and has a lot of damage output when facing these units. On to the next fight. Moving on to some more of the recent fights now. Let's take a look at Hina and the Psy Striker team. Now against Hina and the Strikers, again, not exactly the hardest fight. But the downside that Quick Cerebral actually had when I was first using it, it was, was very, very squishy. The team struggled to get off the mark. It had a lot of speed, it had a lot of attack, it didn't have that exact prowess to actually take down teams before the team actually started popping off on it. And this particular team with the Psy Strikers was an, as an absolute example of that. They have so much speed with Enel and um, action binding with Hina and damage output and stuff like that. But as you can see, we're getting our specials ready by the 21 second mark. Uta going early and going first is absolutely crucial for this team because it means that then we can get Robin to go in. Robin absolutely decimates Enel there because there's just one driven character. Remember, there only has to be one driven character on the team and Robin is going to pop off that six times damage. And nine times out of ten, there's a driven character in there somewhere. But getting the special of Uta off early is so nice because she gives you a lot of buffs. Plus, she gives you haste and she gives you more cooldown. And then you just have all your units go absolutely ballistic. This team is so damn quick now that at the beginning of the fight, if the team isn't like defense bulked, you can just absolutely tear through their front line. Especially if Robin goes so early, gives you that 30% HP cut. Then you hit with like Shanks, Inazuma, and um, uh, yeah, basically that's it. <laughs> Shanks and Inazuma, but you also get that six times from Robin. Um, you just can absolutely tear through teams. And at that point, you've already broken so many pieces of their puzzle that, you, that you're in really, really good step for the rest of the fight. You will have to worry about teams that have very good defensive bulk. I did try against the fighters, and this team did struggle a little bit. It managed to get it done, but, like, it wasn't clean. Um, so there are instances where you aren't going to have great success. And obviously, when you're coming up against stuff like Dex, you're probably never going to use the quick cerebral team because Lord just states, don't use quick against Dex. It's just... Doesn't work 9 times out of 10. But as you saw there, we absolutely tore through Hina. Let's move on to Marigold now. The other new fight. Now, this one is a bit more in our favor, even though the previous fight we absolutely tore through with like a hot knife through butter. But this particular fight, we have um, type advantage on, which works really, really nicely because our type advantage against strength means we're going to be taking a lot less damage. However, they do have Kid that can get through our defenses. They have stuff like Kuma that can get through our defenses. And they also have that action binding slash confusion ability that uh boa is so renowned for but we now have some defensive prowess on top of our type advantage with sabo sabo not only gives himself a shield to himself and that's why i like to put him in the middle but he also gives level five defense up now to the entire crew or well, to quick characters i should say plus he's a cerebral character and it works nicely having that sort of cerebrally sort of team build with all of these units he also gives haste and he gives level uh, what does he have? Level 6 attack and speed up to quick teammates for 25 seconds. He can give 50% chance to grant has haste to 3 members. Now, that's not guaranteed, but you have haste with Robin. You have haste with Uta. So, you have very, very good stats there. You're also getting a lot of buffs from these units. And like I said, on top of his shield, he's now giving level 5 defense up and level 5 HP to the entire crew. Which means that he can actually take a lot of shots. And putting him in the middle means he's your front defensive man. He's the one that's going to be taking the majority of the shots moving forward. And with that shield, he can just take a lot more than the rest of the team. You want to keep your damage dealers off to the side. So that's why I put Shanks and Inizuma off to the left and the right. And then I've got stuff like Robin and Uta in the middle there. Sort of just for that extra bulk and that extra damage. So all in all, like these buffs that these three characters got are exceptionally powerful. Uta is a really, really good unit too. I do believe... The top musical variation of uh, Uta is still the best variation. And obviously the int cerebral one is still very good for the cerebral build. But when we're talking for quick, like a quick team, Uta definitely can see work. But I do think that she works a lot better when you are putting her up on a quick cerebral team rather than just a quick team in general. Um, 
the quick driven team i still think takes the cake when we are talking quick but it is nice to see now that quick cerebral is doing doing like good damage and whatnot this particular run too by the way was going very smoothly but like kid just stuck at the radio stuck out of the radar of shanks so he didn't take that first shanks hit uh which means that this this fight did take a little bit longer than expected but this marigold fault fight is actually a little bit more is a little bit more challenging than some of the other ones that i have done um so it's going to be really interesting when i actually do my um challenge pvp video for this particular team but let me know your thoughts and opinions of the new quick cerebral team in the comment section below while you're down there don't forget to bell the like button hit the subscribe button do all that good stuff for me most importantly whether you guys are in this beautiful world please remember to enjoy the rest of your day as always homies thank you for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one